And you must be called out, consecrated, because there is an assignment on your life and I'm actually sending you to deliver the people that you're right now standing with. But how will they know how to recognize a deliverer if you remain the same? Now take Aaron, your brother, and his sons with him. Watch what it says here. From among the children of Israel. Everybody say from among. See, what he says is uh, Aaron was once one of them and Aaron was once like them. But in order to go to a deeper place for me, he must come out from among them. And the word says, and be ye separate somewhere else. I need Aaron. Here's, here's the thing. Watch. Aaron cannot possibly function in the capacity of what I'm calling him to if he still functions in the life of the people he's trying to deliver. Are you following me? We cannot forget that Israel were a people that were in the process of being delivered. They were outside of the geographical region of Egypt, but Egypt had not left their soul. My God, I want to preach today, but I need some help. So he says, call you church. You can't stay common. You must come out from among common people and you must have something that begins to reason in your life that clearly defines you, clearly gives you evidence that you are mine and that you have been marked by me and you know how to enter my presence and you know how to carry people into my presence. You must come out from the common people. You must come out from the common things. You must come out from the common thinking. You must come out from the common saying. You must come out from the common acting and you must be called out consecrated because there is an assignment on your life and I'm actually sending you to deliver the people that you're right now standing with but how will they know how to recognize a deliverer if you remain the same <laughs> Moses has a visitation with God in Midian before he ever comes. How can I do this? See, he's in a wrestling match. Here's the truth is that some of us need to have a burning bush moment and actually respond to it. I think many have had a burning bush call. We just not taking off the shoes on holy ground. God, I need some help. Am I doing all right, Shane? Watch, watch. So, he has this encounter and he's like, I, you're, I'm sending you back to your people. I can't go. I just ran from there. Why? Because when I was there last time, I acted just like them. I was functioning in the same kind of passion and emotion that was unbridled. I had a gift, but I didn't know how to use it. And so when I was there, they looked at me. I told them what my gift was. I told them what my assignment was and they turned and laughed at me. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me right now because it's what's going on right now in our world with the church is we've looked at them and we say, hey, here we are to save you. And they're looking at us and laughing us. Why? You don't look no different than me. You still do the same things I do. You still drink from the same bottle I do. You still go to the same places I do. There is no evidence on your life that you're different and can carry me to a different place in mine. I don't want to go in the same path I'm going. I just don't know how to get to somewhere else. So I need somebody that knows how to come out and be separated and enter a new dimension that I can follow out of my deliverance. Moses at a burning bush is like God's calling him out. I can't go back there. What am I going to do? Go and tell them I've sent you. That ain't going to do no good. I got a speaking problem. You didn't have a speaking problem a minute ago. Watch. He says, do me a favor. That staff that's in your hand. You've been using it to herd sheep with. But you've kept them in Midian. 
You don't know how to carry them somewhere because you've not been with me. Every other shepherd in your region carries a staff just like that. But what's different about yours? We'll throw it down in my presence and let's see what happens. He takes his staff and throws it down and all of a sudden it turns into a snake. He says, now reach down and grab it by his tail. And it becomes a staff. You follow me? See, on first glance, he may look the same. And he may carry the same gift, because everybody's got a gift. That's some of the problem to the church today is... We got a gift. We just don't know how to lay it down at Jesus. And we don't know how to pick it up in his presence at his command. Are you following me? But see, when you go back now, there's evidence that you've been in the presence of the Lord. Why? Because I can take what looked common and in my presence it becomes supernatural. But I needed you to enter a season where I had to get you out from among your people. And Moses, you were really dumb because it took you 40 years. Just so I can send you back. Because the 40 years is what shook off Egypt. Learning how to get silent with me. Oh, come on. Learning how to have a burning bush moment with just me. See, you're always called to Israel. And you always had a gift for Israel. You just didn't have the presence for it. And so I had to call you out to get Egypt off of you. So that you could have an encounter with me that I could anoint. A separated man, a consecrated man, and send him back to be a deliverer. And so there's got to be, y'all ain't past the first verse. It's 1140. There's got to be a people that are willing to say, you know what? Hey, this tabernacle thing looks really great. Anderson, oh yeah, a move of God might can happen, but I'm going to sit by on the sidelines and keep functioning common and just expect God to do it because it's all on him anyway. And then there will be some people that will decide, you know what? I came to an altar. I laid it in an altar. I burned it all in an altar. I walked around and I washed it off in the laver. And now I'm trying to look to make sure that what I see in the mirrors of this laver is matching the water that's in the laver by the water that's in the laver. I'm letting the spirit wash me over, the word wash me over, the presence wash me over because I am preparing myself for a garment change. He says, come out. Come out from among the children of Israel. Come out from among the children of Israel. Come out and be you separate. And watch what he says. That he may minister to me. 